This is today's photo, day eight. Um, for those of you that are kind of just getting, you know, up to speed on things, uh, July of 2019 was my father's last month outside uh, free, you know, outside of a medical facility before UPMC Mercy ultimately did a procedure on him that was deemed unnecessary, which gave him an infection that ultimately killed him on September 1st, 2019. So what I'm trying to do every day is share pictures and stories to give you a better understanding of who my father was to more humanize him so he doesn't kind of just blend in with the countless other victims of medical error. It'd be awesome if you uh, wouldn't mind clicking the link that I have posted in the description. I have it in a lot of my bios. I have a petition started to change the statute of limitations for medical malpractice in Pennsylvania. Um, we're trying to get to 10,000. I think we're at near 8,300. So if you don't mind signing that, it's free. And then, of course, if you are interested in any Charlie merchandise, um, which, again, shirts, tanks, hoodies, by wearing them, it brings awareness to the cause. People ask questions because I, I truly believe my father is going to be a symbol. It's not just that logo is not just going to be a shirt. It is going to be a symbol like the Jerry West of medical malpractice. So on to the story. All right. So if you look at this picture, uh, my father is the person wearing the football jersey. All right. Not even just a football jersey. He's wearing a Jacquez green jersey for the Buccaneers. Now, my father didn't care about sports at all like at all, was terribly unathletic. Uh, so you're probably, why does he have a Jock Wes Green jersey? Well, my father was such a selfless man that all of his clothes were like hand-me-downs from his kids. So like old football jerseys we had or old football. So you'd see my dad in like a, a random Saints shirt or Steelers hoodie or Pirates, whatever. And that's because my father never bought clothes. We were poor, so my father never spent money on himself, certainly not on clothes. So he would show up at these family functions with a Joey Porter jersey or like a Jason Gildon or Jacquez Green. Um, and it was, I always found it funny because my dad had no clue who he was representing or who, who he was wearing. I'm a big Buccaneers fan, but he probably couldn't even tell you what city the Buccaneers were. So that was just something cool about my dad is he definitely put his kids uh, far, far, far in front of him. So yeah, um, if you know anybody that's you know experiencing uh, a, a situation with medical error or you yourself, medical malpractice, anything I could do to help as far as advice, as far as to maybe eliminate a few hurdles that I had to go through so maybe you don't, um, let me know, share your story, you know what I mean? Even if it's just like, well, I swear I think something happened to my aunt. Ask questions, get medical records. It doesn't hurt to ask. You are not a fool just because you don't know medical jargon. You don't have a big degree. I'm not saying going around blaming every single thing that happens, but there's nothing wrong with inquiring and, and you know, people's loved ones deserve that. So thank you for, for uh, keeping up with me. And again, justice for Charlie.